and welcome to another uh, Taproom Traveler video. I belong to Landon. I'm not an object. I'm not owned, but I'm engaged to <laughs> Andy. And I'm married to the generally producer, Alex. Cheers, cheers. So today we're drinking some sweeter beers. Mm-hmm. Normally, what are our favorite beers? What is your favorite beer normally? Types like, of beer. I like sours in the summer and darks in the winter. Okay. I can drink a stout or a porter year round. I don't care if it's 100 degrees out. I want something dark and heavy. <laughs> um, I like everything but gross IPA. So there's that. I can and, support that too. Yes. Yeah. Choose that. Yeah. So we have a couple beers today. We are sharing because sharing is caring because they're quite large because there's a lot of us here. But um, we have a white chocolate from the brewery and then we have a gingerbread beer from Til- Tillian. Is that how you pronounce it? Tillian? Landon and I went there. It was really an awesome place. It looked like a castle. So which one do we want to start with? Gingerbread or white chocolate? Sorry. Yes. Chocolate. Chocolate. Okay. The white chocolate is actually aged in bourbon barrels with vanilla beans. And it's Ooh. 14%. So we are going to open this. The reason that I originally bought this is because I'm going to be opening my salon. We have mm-hmm. our grand opening this weekend. So I was bought this for that and so we're gonna cheers to that today so awesome oh we keep, gotta talking. keep talking um <laughs> well what i love about these beers is it's almost like a dessert so dessert in a glass yes. you finish your dinner and you're like ah do i want a beer do i want dessert you can get the best of both worlds why not both yeah Por que no los dos claro que sí um yeah, it's wow. Yeah, it's, it's a lot. It's more lighter. of an amber color than I was expecting for a chocolate beer. It's very golden. Is it, what is it? Does it say it's a Whoa. stout? It smells it's very strong. <laughs> okay, it's an ale. It does smell very boozy. Wow. All right, what a way to start the day. So we'll see <laughs> if it actually tastes like white chocolate because it's. I hope very it's strong. not a ginger bomb. Oh, this isn't the ginger this one. This is the chocolate one. Next one's the ginger one. It's great. Um. No, it's very good, actually. It's very smooth for it being such a high. Yeah, this is dangerous. Ooh. This is good. Yeah. The after, the after <laughs> very vanilla. Yeah, a lot of... The aftertaste I'm, is very, very good. Here. I sort of get some chocolate on the front and a lot of vanilla on the, yeah, on the back. But it's smooth. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, this goes down really easy. Yeah, this is dangerous. Wow. wow. Danger zone. So the brewery is out of California. Oh, all right. But it's kind of awesome that we can experience that here in Wisconsin. How'd yes. you get this one then? We got it at the coffee grounds. Oh, cool. Oh, great place. Correct. Shout out to Candace. Shout out to Candace. Yeah. Cheers to that. But yeah, it's very, very good. Not what I expected. It's a little more yeah. caramely, vanilla y than oily white chocolate. Yeah, I don't get. A ton of chocolate taste. I, no. I a little bit, but you're right. More caramel, more vanilla. Yeah, I'm okay with just the, the little bit of the chocolate because there's plenty yeah. of other stuff going on in yeah. it. But I'm just really surprised how light it is. Yeah. Relaxing. Yes, Alex says relaxing in a glass. And wow. I'm feeling relaxed. <laughs> it's it's very. Wow. So Good yeah, little dessert. A little d- <laughs> naughty. A little dessert. <laughs> Oh yeah. The so, b- the next brewery is the brewery. The brewery. <laughs> okay. Do we have a problem? The boys are distracting us. I wish they would be as respectful as us when we we're off camera. We sit quietly when we are off camera. <laughs> Apparently, we're supposed yes. to be just making small talk, and I think that's boring. So, um, <laughs> <laughs> the girls do a vlog. <laughs> okay. <laughs> anyway. Very good. Mm-hmm. Next beer we're going to try is gingerbread, and it's called the Tipsy, Tipsy Gingerbread Man. It's oh, a winter so porter cute. brewed with molasses and ginger, which I'm really excited. Ooh. And the artwork on here is pretty fun. That's so cute. Oh my gosh. So we're going to open up this guy. We got to finish Not our like gumdrop buttons. Say. <laughs> That's what it looks like. It Woo. looks like the little gingerbread man. It's so cute. Thank you. Thank you, handoff camera. I 
kind of got a big pour of the first one. This one's While pretty much delicious. the same color here. Ooh. Look at those. It, it looks very thick and... I'm all about that. Delicious. I like a lot of head, Alex. Don't even be young. <laughs> So she Anything? Said. Anything? Oh, okay, thanks. <laughs> this one is... I'm like, we're just going to leave that? <laughs> so this is out of Cannon Falls, and Landon and I actually got this not that long ago, and um, the place actually looks like a castle. It's all stone on the outside. It was really neat. They had live music going on, and they probably had at least 15 beers on the board, wow. and they were all very, very good. So, And where was it? Cannon Falls. Okay. What Minnesota? Minnesota? Okay. <laughs> I was going to say. And it's called Tillion. And um, they had like different pizza and things that were around the area really close. And there was a winery across the street. Nice. But it was really cool because all of their brewing equipment had names on them. So all of their like whatever you call them fermenters <laughs> had names on them. They were names. So like people names? Oh, people or? names. Cool. They were. It was pretty sweet. So. <laughs> What's going on in Larry today? <laughs> I don't know. It was. I <laughs> know. So but they, I think it'd I be enjoy that. I good because they can, no. They know exactly which one you're talking about. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. but they were all out in open, so you could see them. So that was neat. It's way more fun than one, two, three. Yes, yeah. pretty much. So, ooh, this one smells really good. Mm. <laughs> wow. I feel like this smells like Christmas. It does. It's very weedy. And it's supposed to be a porter. Yeah. Does not taste like a porter to me. I get a little bit of the ginger. But not a lot. But I was thinking a lot yeah. more gingery. But I'm glad. I'd rather just have like a little hint of ginger because I think ginger is one of those flavors where if you have too much of it, it's like you're getting punched it's in the face. It's overpowering. Yeah. Yeah. I wish there was a little more flavor, though. I'm used to winter beers having a lot of spices in them. And yes. this one does not have a lot. Yeah, it tastes more of a wheat. Yeah, it does not taste like a porter to me. So we're getting some shakes of the head behind us too. So yeah, but yeah, a little bit. It's still a great beer. It it's is just, a good beer, but it's yeah. not quite what we were expecting. If it were me, I'd want more ginger in it. So. I'm okay with a little bit of ginger. Yeah, but it's mm-hmm. very, um, very smooth. It's still a great beer. It does not taste like... It's a high alcohol beer. It's very smooth. Mm-hmm. So. I agree. What what is this one? It's eight, eight and a half okay. percent. So yeah. oh, I love that art. <laughs> it's not it's not fourteen. I mean, yeah, you can definitely tell that there's molasses in here though, because that mm-hmm. that undertone definitely. of that. So yeah, the molasses is very yeah. good. That was just a really fun. That was a fun day. We we had a good time. But they that was a neat place to go to. There was out. I think there was at least 10 or 12 different outside stuff that you could do around there. So. How long has Tillian been open then? I don't think they've been open that long. No, maybe a year or two. Okay. But they were hopping in there and it was yeah. it was a neat place. So I love it when cool. it's got some good atmosphere like that where yeah. you know people are enjoying themselves and you can really... They had yeah. fun people behind the bar too. They were very oh, much um, talkative and wanted to really explain the stuff, mm-hmm. which is nice to see instead of like, I don't really know. Yeah, you asked yeah. questions and they were very informative. That's awesome, especially like if you're just starting like drinking craft beer and you're like, uh, I know what I don't yes, like. Exactly. Or I like. There's always like I feel like whenever I'm at a brewery, somebody walks in and they're like, I like Bud Light or I like Miller Light, and they're like, You won't like any of the, the beer. first. <laughs> there's some there's some bartenders that'll look at you and just be like. Uh, what are you doing here then? Yes. But then there's other ones who are just like, okay, well, like this is our lighter beer, and if you want to like, kind of try this something different like or your broaden your horizon, broaden, yeah. yeah. And I think that's really awesome because people make great beer, and you got to have that gateway beer to oh yeah convert all the yes. Bud Light lovers. <laughs> they had really good popcorn here. I'm a connoisseur Ooh. of popcorn. <laughs> We've had this debate in our house here for a while of popcorn or pretzels. Pretzels. Mm. It all depends on who, what you like. I don't know. Rough I mean, torn. I tried Dots pretzels for the first time last night at Vicky and Alex's, and I'm a hundred percent pretzels. But I also I, love the. Uh, have you guys ever had the? It's a fifty-fifty bag of like half of its cheese, half of its yes. caramel corn. Oh, the Chicago mix, yes. and of course so, our Dots yeah. pretzels always, yep. oh, always on delicious. Hand in the household. <laughs> But yeah, their popcorn was like really good, salty, really? like good popcorn. The salty okay. the better. I think it makes a difference to have a brewery, though, that has some of those things because they do cleanse your palate a little bit more if you mm-hmm. are taking a flight. 
mm-hmm. that you can actually taste all the stuff differently Agreed. because you do have something Agreed. to eat. So, so a new brewery in Alex with Altoona. In Altoona. In Altoona. On Bibulus. How we, was it? You the went? four of us went there last yeah. night. How was that? Uh, we played a little Good. shuffleboard. We drank a little beer. We had some great popcorn. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yeah, they have it set up so they make the popcorn uh, and then you can pick what fixings you want on it. So there's ranch, parmesan, garlic powder, uh, the cheese powder you could put on it. So that'd be right up your alley. Did you have a favorite beer that you had while you were there? I enjoyed the mug shot, which is their stout. Mm-hmm. Um, I actually liked their hazy IPA. I feel like, like, what? Because I don't <laughs> like IPAs. I don't either. It's okay. I actually liked their <laughs> IPA. Good. Yeah. Uh, Hanky Panky, I think, is the name of it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. I had their mugshot, which is their stout, and then um, the Midnight something. It Boot was lager. The Boot lager. lager. Yeah. Yeah, which was their dark lager. I think I it's a dark say. lager. Yeah. yeah. But that was really good. They also Easy have a cherry and, beer yeah. on tap right now. Sweet. Ooh, cherry wheat beer, yeah. Yeah, cherry wheat. And it's pretty good. Yeah. Good. I liked it. I liked the atmosphere. Yeah, what is it um, like? It, they've got like some comfy couches. They've got a shuffleboard table. They've, mm-hmm. you know, it's it's a little small and cozy. There's a patio outside. We didn't we didn't sit out there, so I can't really, you know. Is it dog friendly? It is not dog friendly, unfortunately. Okay, because yeah, the uh, brewing equipment is open, so yeah. you don't want Good doggies by the brewing equipment. Good to unfortunately. know. Unfortunately. Yeah. Good to know. Well, awesome. But, yeah. are, are we anything else? Are we good? We have, oh my, okay. Um, <laughs> Seven minutes. And... Oh, yeah. Oh. You guys went to Colorado. How yeah, was that? Yeah, we did. Um, I, it tent was it. awesome. Yeah, we were tenting it. Um, I think the coolest that it was when we were tent camping in Colorado at night, I think it the coolest it got down to was 75. Oof. Andy claimed 65. I was sweating like a sinner in church the whole time um but fortunately because of the um very warm weather we got to spend a lot of time in breweries because we were tent camping so it's like where can we find air conditioning and then i'm like looking up on my phone whenever i have service like okay brewery here and i just like <laughs> laid out my map and i'm like brewery 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 and we were just so lucky because we'd go to one brewery and we'd be like hey like we're in town we're from wisconsin like what breweries do you recommend? And they'll be like, go here. Like, they're awesome. They're known for this. And we were really lucky that there was awesome hospitality and everybody was so friendly in Colorado at the breweries. So thank you very much, everybody out there. And you awesome. and you drove there? Yeah, we drove there. That's awesome. It was, yeah, 16-hour drive from Wisconsin. Beautiful. It's not bad. Oh, it was beautiful. It was once you see those mountains, you're just like in the horizon. It's... Oh, I love it. That's awesome. It was yeah. an awesome trip, and I would recommend going out to Colorado and brewery hopping to everyone. Awesome. <laughs> brewery hopping, hiking, like, it's just, it was the perfect vacation for us, and it was awesome. Well, good. Mm-hmm. Nice. Social media. Social media. I'm, t- I'm told social media. Um, Facebook, Twitter. Instagram. 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 YouTube um, podcast, YouTube. If you haven't su- subscribed, subscribe now. Is the link below? Mm-hmm. It's below. The link is below. Okay. Um, Hot Passport is wrapping up here. Twenty twenty is going to be coming out an app, though. Correct from what you were talking so about. You don't have That's to remember nice. to bring your physical passport with you. Um, I know Alex and I have gotten caught with that a couple of times. Yes. We've gone to breweries that we know are in the Hot Passport. And we'd forget to bring our hot passport. So next year, we're buying the app. Yes. That's I'm awesome, good. though. We used ours quite a bit, actually. We've used ours a fair amount, but there have been a couple where we're like, ah, oh, I know. You just mm-hmm. It's in the other car. Like, I know I have it. <laughs> so, but that was awesome. Otherwise, not much else to talk about. So yeah. we're going to sign off here. From all of us here at Taproom Travelers, including the lovely wives and fiance, mm-hmm. <laughs> Prost. <laughs> Salud. Salud. Hey, everybody. Thanks for watching. If you like what you saw, you can click down below where there's some more episodes for you to watch. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe on episodes that you do watch. We hope to see you next time. <laughs>